Good morning. So, I wasn't going to make a video this week because we're just going to be making our way back to the UK from France. It'll be a simple one night stopover before the ferry. So in my opinion, there wasn't much to film. It's just the road and a car park we'll be sleeping in. But this morning, I watched a video by another YouTuber, Jack Whittaker from the Sailing Zatara family. And he has inspired me to get over my issues with content and do something creative. As he said, it's better to post something bad than nothing at all. So as we pack our bags and start to make our way home, I'm gonna open up a little bit about our life and why we're doing what we're doing. In the beginning, I was actually a pretty damn good skateboarder and a, a singer in a punk ska band. You wouldn't think it to look at me now, would you? I didn't do very well at school. It wasn't from lack of ability. I just had other things going on. School seemed to get in the way. So when I left, I was only able to find work in the local factories or as a labourer. For a while, this didn't bother me because I had a life outside of work, touring with the band and skateboarding every spare hour that I had. After a few years of this, I started to realize that there had to be something more to life than working almost every day, doing something you don't enjoy, just so you can continue your passions on a weekend. Of course, feeling this way in my early 20s, alcohol found its way into my life and started to consume me more and more. And it started to sap my passion and my drive. It was around this time that a friend of a friend um, started talking to me about his plans to travel the world. He was showing me maps and talking about trekking in mountains. He really got my attention. And if you're watching, Sam, I owe you a lot. This awoke something in my mind that I just simply could not switch off. So within a few days, the decision was made, I was going. Uh, I had to do something to free my mind and escape the monotony of living in a small town in a dead end job. I worked as hard as I could to save the money for the tickets before the off date, which was coming up very soon. These guys have been planning for a long time and I only had a handful of months to get ready. So I told my girlfriend, Sarah, that this was something I had to do and she understood and agreed that we would meet again in Bangkok when she had finished her studies. Sam, Howard and I arrived in Mumbai, Bangkok for our first stop. Now that was a culture shock. Talk about in at the deep end. <laughs> After traveling Northern India for a few months by bus and train, we slowly made our way to Kathmandu in Nepal, where we made preparations for our long trek into the Himalayas. We started in the foothills and made our way towards Everest. We broke off from the Everest uh, Trail and made our way to Gokyo Ri on a recommendation of a guy that we met in a lodge. Gokyo Ri is a mountain to the west where we could get an amazing view of Everest in all its glory. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting squished. Of course you are, you always do. Of course. 
Sitting on top of that little mountain, watching the sun rise over Everest, was the most amazing thing I've ever done, and it changed who I was forever. We thought about all the people back home who would be getting up in the next hour or so to go to work. But we were sat there on the roof of the world watching the sunrise over the highest point on the planet. We sat there giggling like children at what we'd achieved. Although I think the altitude and the thin air had something to do with that. Um, we contemplated life and what was to come next. So next was Bangkok where I met back up with Sarah and we all headed to the islands to learn to scuba dive because that is what backpackers in Thailand do. We very quickly fell in love with the island of Koh Tao and we were very very interested in this lifestyle that the dive instructors led. After travelling further down the country with friends, Sarah and I very, very quickly made the decision to turn around and head back to Koh Tao. After many months of training to become professional divers, partying, making lots of new lifelong friends, uh, we realised it was time to leave because we had flights to use up oh, and the money was running low. So we took our flight to Australia, where we bought a car, met up with some old friends from the UK and travelled all around the inside of the country for the next few months, sleeping under the stars, camping by the side of the road. It was amazing. And I think this is where I get my love and passion for the freedom of living on the open road. We then took our flight back to the UK that had already been booked and promptly sold everything we owned and worked as hard as we could for about eight months so we could get out of there permanently. We had found a much nicer way to live. Now, back in Thailand, Sarah and I got jobs as underwater camera people and we were filming the tourists and selling them videos on an evening down at the local beach bar. What a life, it was amazing for many, many years. Uh, until eventually Sarah and I went our separate ways and I formed a new underwater video company with my friend and business partner, Elizabeth. This went on to great success and we ended up training people, selling training courses. Uh, and then one day, the kid's mum, Delphine, walked into our office. Within a month, we were a couple. Within a year, we were living together. Within two years, we bought some land and we were building a house together. Now, it was around this time that she told me she was pregnant. And uh, now that's a shock for any man at any time. We were trying, but imagine my surprise when we found out it was twins. Months later, things took a turn and we had to rush her to Bangkok to get her to the Bangkok hospital. Something was not right. This is where the world turned upside down. One evening in the hospital, she noticed that the kids were not moving inside her like they normally were. So we called the doctor and he said, okay, these babies need to be removed instantly otherwise they're going to die so she was whisked away for emergency c-section they um, they got the babies out they moved them to the nicu but sadly tragically delphine never came back out
I was alone in Bangkok with two babies in the hospital. My friends and family flocked to me as soon as they could. I could write a book on what happened over the next few weeks. Let's just say it was the hardest thing I have ever had to do in my life. After a few years of living back on the island with the help of a small army of Filipino nannies, the decision was made to move back to the UK. My dad was not doing well with cancer and I wanted the kids to spend more time with their grandparents and other family. Then tragedy struck our family again. We'd lost my father, we now lost my mother and my little sister a few years later. So things like this make you reflect on life and why are we here? What is the point of all this? Because I guarantee you it is not to work nine to five, drink on an evening, on a weekend, watch television, paying for a car, paying for a house. That is not why we're here. So was I going to watch my kids go, go through the school system to be told that this is the best that they could ever have? No, 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 no. I was not going to stand for this. My mind was made up. I stopped drinking alcohol permanently, cut it completely out of my life. I pulled the kids out of school and I decided it was time for a big change. I needed to teach them what I had learned in my years traveling after school. They needed to learn about culture, adventure, and that you can start a business yourself. In school will never teach you how to do this. So I thought the best way we could get started was with a camper van. So we converted this little work van into the camper van, as you well know, and we've taken it off on so many adventures around the UK, over into France to visit Delphine's mom, and we even took it down to Croatia and Montenegro, and it was on this trip that we realized that this is something we could do permanently, but all we need is a bigger van. But you crazy man with all these wonderful ideas, how are you going to fund this voyage of discovery, I hear you ask? Well, you're looking at it because as of just a couple of days ago, this channel got monetized, which means from here on in every month, we're going to start earning from a teeny weeny little bit at the beginning from ad revenue, which will slowly over the years grow to maybe a couple of hundred pounds a month. Now that doesn't sound like much. It's not much, but it's going to help. And then we're able to set up other things on the side. I've also opened a Patreon page. Now, for those who don't know about Patreon, this is another uh, like social media group area where you can pay a subscription to our channel and you'll get behind the scenes footage, photos, posts, and things that no one else on YouTube gets to see. Uh, it's only just started. If we get some Patreons, I will start adding stuff. Uh, I'll drop a link down below and you'll be able to find it on some of the other videos as well. And then the other thing is we'll start looking at merchandising, selling t-shirts, uh, baseball hats with our logo on it, you know, anything we can put a logo on really. I've also opened up a buy me a coffee page where you can go over there and you can just click and buy us a coffee. We all have this one often far too short life and I for one am not going to waste all my time doing something I don't particularly want to be doing while my kids are away doing something they don't particularly want to be doing. I want to I want to live with my children, grow with my children. They grow with me. I want to explore. I want to teach them. I want to learn and I want to do this together. So there you go. You know the answer now to the question, why are we here at this juncture in our lives doing what we're about to do? And I can't wait to get on the road. I can't wait to get started on the conversion of this van, to be honest, but I can't wait to get on the road and we're all going to be able to do this with your help. So please, jump onto Patreon if you want to have a look at that and get a monthly subscription, entirely up to you of course. There's the uh, buy me a coffee link now. We will get some merchandise up and running at some point soon. I've got a lot on my plate at the moment, we'll get there eventually. Uh, but otherwise, it's totally free here on YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button, share it to all your friends. That would be fantastic. Thank you all so very much for watching. And next week of course, we are back on the van conversion. Let's get this sprinter done. I can't wait and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye.